Hey guys, what's up? It's Michelle. Welcome to today's workout. It is bar. You need no equipment, just a mat, or maybe you need a chair, or maybe your counter in your kitchen, whatever works for you. It's low impact, so everybody can do this. We're working on fine tuning muscles, so I want you to be mindful in the movement. If you are ready, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any new workouts. Let's warm it up, start on that mat, shoulders back. Here we go, we're gonna squat down, squat, and open the arms. I'm pressing back, sinking in the heels here. Let's do four more of these, open that chest. Great, two more, and then we're gonna stay in that squat, pulse, heels up, alternate them. Lift, good, sink here. Really lift those heels off the ground. And while you're here, pull the abs up and in. Good job. Give me four more of these. There's four, three. Go back to your squat. Open the chest here. Squat and open the chest. All right. Really get nice and warm in those legs and in your arms. You got four more. Then we're getting ready to bring those knees up. Last one. Reach up. Knees come up. Elbow to knee. Use your exhale as you pull your knee up to that elbow. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Step out into lunge here. Stay the lunge. Shoulders back. Just lift onto the toe. Now I'm going to add my arm. Sweep it up. Maybe lift the leg. Looking great. All right. Step in. Other side. Lunge here. Just lift that foot up. Or just heel up. And then when you're ready to, we're going to add the arm and lift the leg. You got four more. Reach up. Three, two. Let's try that step in. Other side. One on each side. Other side. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Open up the arm and the shoulder. You have four more. Woo. Last two. All right. Come back to center. Now hold here. Pulse in that squat. Just sink here. Feel a lot of heat here. Great job, eight more. And then pull up and in. Set that intention today to have an amazing workout. Lunge back, reach up, switch legs. Bend that knee, really open up through the waist here. Ooh, you've got four more. Three, two, and then let's bring those legs into second position. Open up. Roll back and hold. Reach the arms here. We're going to sweep down and sweep up. Bend the knees and reach it up. Big arms. Oh, yeah. Four more of these. Big sweeping. Drop your back to butt to knee height. And then you're going to hold. Reach and pulse. I can do some arms here. You can turn your doorknob. Right? Give me eight more of these. Reach the little fingers. Open up your chest. Four, three, two heels up right here. One and then the other. Lift up here. All right, let's try both of them. Both heels up. Boom. Lift. Great. Here we go. Four more. Three, two. Can you hold? Just hold. Strength and stillness. That feels good, right? Woo. All right, step it in. Step out, step out, bring it in, reach it. Here's my arm option. Whatever you want to do with the arms, I'm okay with whatever you want to feel like doing with the arms. You can bring them in front, open up. Great job. Last four. Open up to the back with those arms. Last one. All right, release, relax. Come to the back of your mat. And just grow another inch taller. You're gonna round down, walk your body out to your plank, and hold. Open the hands up just a little bit wider than the shoulders. Press your heels back. Lengthen from the heels to the crown of your head. Knees or toes, we're gonna to start with some push-ups. Drop chest to elbow height. Okay, here we go. Getting warm in the arms. Now set the intention, be mindful in the movements. You're up. All right, we got eight more, so make a choice. Knees or toes. Eight, and push. Seven, 
Squeeze something in the back side a little bit here. You got four more of them. Push away the ground. Last two. All right, give me a down dog. Hold for a moment. Enjoy this down dog. All right, press the heels back. Now take your right leg, extend it to the ceiling. So you got a single leg down dog going on here. You're gonna bring that knee to the chest and shoot back up. Are you ready? Here we go. Pull in and reach. Exhale and inhale. Shift forward and then press back. You've got four more. Press up and back. Three. Oh, two. Last one here. Can you hold that knee to the chest? Hold it for a moment. Press through the hands. You can always settle it down. Step back plank. Hips up down dog. Extend that left leg into that single leg down dog. And then bring that knee to the chest. Shoot back up. Again, I want you to take a nice big exhale as you bring that knee forward. And then press that right heel down as you shoot that left leg to the ceiling. Two more. Ooh, last one. And then can you bring it back down? Hold for a moment. Shoulders down. Abs pulling in. Feels good. Step back. How about a little mountain climbers? Knees come into the chest. A little run here. Pull it in. Or you can just settle a plank, or you can take a break. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down for a moment. Give me a little child pose. We're going to take it to a side plank on that forearm. Either bent knees or straight legs. Hips are off the floor. Open that chest up. We're just going to drop and lift that hip. And again, now if your back is sensitive, you may not want to drop the hip. You can just hold it. Give me five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And hold. Now here's the challenge. You need to stack your feet. Reach that top arm to the ceiling. And then maybe pick that leg up for a moment. Strength and stillness here. Four seconds. Three. Two. Turn down to four plank. You can drop the knees or you can stay here with me. And then we're just going to go for a little run. The knees tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Both knees bend. And then press back. Both knees bend. Press back. And again, I'm bracing that core. Give me four more of those. Shoulders push back. The last two. That was great. Now, we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to turn around. You have that side forearm plank. You know your options now. We're going to drop that hip eight times. So you can stack or you can scissor your legs. Really get a nice range of motion. But know your back. If your back is sensitive, then you know that you can't do this dip, right? That might hurt your low back. Two more. And then hold it up. All right, here we go, here we go, that challenge. Can you stack and hold? Maybe you lift that top leg off. You can be on your knee. Know where you need to be today. Three, two, and one. Turn it back down. Now come back up to your hands. Give me hand plank, hold. All right, push through those heels. Draw that tailbone under a little bit. Now here's that challenge. I like challenges, don't you? Let's climb the mountain. Pull them in. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go two, two, three. All right, we got 16 more. Go. In, two, three, four. Last seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Oh, finish this up with the arms. We got some dips. Spin your feet around. Bend knees or straight legs. Choice for your hands for the face. Pop open that chest, lift the hips up, and I got those hands directly under my shoulders. Brace your core, and then go for those dips. Start slow, bend, extend. You can always pick up one leg if you want to. All right, let's do one more. Now here's your option. Pick up that tempo, watch your body. It wants to shift forward, so shift it back. Four, three, two, switch the legs. And again, take that option. Oh 
yeah. You can have your foot down, or you can have your foot up. Four, three, two, one. Now, here's the challenge. Right, we've got long legs or bendies. Push the hips up and hold. Squeeze something in the back side. This is working triceps, some of your back muscles. Oh, hold on to this. We've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 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 two, one. Nice job. Woo, pat your back. Give it a stretch. That's a great way to warm yourself up. We got those legs warmed up, those arms warmed up. Ah, oh, if you need a sip of water, get that drink of water, and we are moving on to thigh work. So you can either use your counter, or maybe you want a chair that you can use for a little bit of support here. We're gonna have the feet all the way together, so bring your legs and zip them up, hand lightly on your counter or your chair, but roll the shoulders back in half, great alignment. I've got my ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over my heels. I can place that hand on the hip, and I'm gonna just start to lift and lower my heels. So start with the heels up top here, drop and lift. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm rolling all the way up onto my toes. Now, I need you to just find a rhythm in your body. So if you feel like you wanna go faster, you wanna go slower, you pick your pace here. But be mindful of this movement here. I draw the abs up and in, find a great posture, right? So our body is really smart and knows how to make things easier. So we'll definitely go into a little bit more, like, less intense movement. So, all right, shoulders back, pull in, maybe zip up in your butt. All right, let's do two more of these, and then keep the heels up, and then I want you to bend your knees. Now, pay attention, bring your knees together, right? Zip them up, thighs are pressing in. Drop as low as you feel that you can and stay in control. Press in on the knees, and we're starting to lower and lift here. You're down, you're up, drop. And again, if you have a mirror at home, that would be awesome so that you can check your posture, because sometimes we think we're like, oh, I'm spot on, and then you're like, wait a minute, shoulders back, right? A few more of these, and again, squeeze your thighs together. If you need something to put in there, put your towel in there, right? or maybe put a dollar bill, or maybe more, maybe worth more. All right, we got three more of these. Drop and rise up. All right, now, we're gonna come down for a moment. Find where you can be, on those toes. Use those toes, dig them into the floor. And then from there, press in, press in, press in, press in. Find neutral spine. All right, we're using those adductors. These are those fine-tuning muscles that I was telling you about at the beginning of this workout. You got four more. Three, two, hold. Bring your heels together. Little pulses. Let's go for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold for a moment. Now give me those press ins. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Oh, shake out those legs. They should be super warm, right? Now let's take it into first position. Heels together, toes turn out. And how wide? Think of a piece of pizza. That's how I want those feet. And then lift the heels up, and then maybe you need to walk them in. Connect them if you can, because that's going to help you zip up through the back side here. Get your buttons to be activated. And then let's bend the knees. Drop it to where you feel that you can and just hold. So mindfulness, connect the heels, connect your pelvic floor, and open up that chest and hold. Ah, now, let's start to move. You're down, you're up. Now when you're coming up, zip up from the heels all the way up through your torso here, right? Drop and lift. Shoulders relax from your alignment. You got a few more of these. And if you feel like you need a little break, right, go all the way down, all the way up. And that can give you a little release. But when I find that I work in the middle, I'm working in that, ooh, that zone. All right, we got five more of these here. Just check out my posture. Three, two, 
One more time. Now hold it back here. Press the knees back. Press back. Press back. Press back. Press back. Again, fine tuning here. Push. Push. You got ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold for a moment. All right, now from there, we're just going to pulse a little bit here. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling a nice burn in my thighs here. Woo! All right, give me 10 more. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Watch that posture. 3, 2, hold for a moment. And really shake it out. Woo! My thighs are on fire. We're going to turn to the side. The leg closest to your counter or your chair is going to turn slightly in. I'm going to lift that top leg up to about hip height. But I'm totally can be here if you don't feel like tipping. So hold it up. I'm going to do an underhand grip or you can do elbow on, whatever you've got there. We're going to do a little lift here with a little lift. So now we're taking the focus away from the front of the thigh. And we're going to go to the side here. A little lift here. And again, I'm going to draw the abs up and in. And soften that standing leg that I'm on. Let's do four more. Three, two, hold the top. Now, from that position, all I want you to do is a little bend, extend. Bend the knee, extend the leg. Bend, extend. Nice job. All right, let's do one of these and then one lift. And then do it again. Bend, extend, lift. Bend, extend, lift. Bend, extend, lift. Two more. Bend, extend, lift. One more time. And then hold at the top from there. Little circles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse that for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up. Now, from there, I'm going to relevate. Turn slightly to that chair or your, or your counter, whatever you got. I'm going to pull the knee in, extend. I'm going to lift the heel of the standing leg. Use the core. In and press it back. Really shoot the leg back behind you. Let's do four more. Three. Press back. Two. Last one. Hold for a moment. You can drop the heel, lift the leg up. Or if you want to go for it, lift the heel up, bend the knee. And then release. Ooh, give yourself a little figure four stretch there. Oh, that felt great. All we did, you're going to do it on the other side. So when you're ready to, you're going to turn your chair or whatever you got there. Now let's get set up on the other side. You're going to turn that foot in, find your position where you want to be. The leg is lifted, open the chest, brace the core. And then I'm going to go in for those little leg lifts here. So again, oh, release in the shoulder. Pull the abs up and in. Lengthen your leg. So if you have a little bend in the knee, try to straighten it out just that little bit more. That's going to give you just a little bit more effort in your body. Let's do four more. Three, two, hold it. Now from there, it's just a bend, extend. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. All right, let's do two more of those. And then we're going to add on to that. Now give me a little lift. Bend, extend, lift. Bend, extend, lift. Bend, extend, lift. Two more. Last one, hold, right? Find that great posture. 10 circles. Two, three, four, five. Are you reaching? Are you drawing the abs in? Three, two, one. Reverse it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it up. All right, we're going to turn to that bar, and I'm going to bring the knee into the elbow and shoot it back. In, press back. Exhale, inhale. All right, use the core. And again, if you want to soften that standing leg just a little bit more, we got three, shoot back. Two, last one. Can you hold it? Lift the heel. Maybe lift that leg another inch, or maybe you can go two. You. And really, sorry, right, here's that nice figure four stretch. Take it. Oh, so we strengthen, we lengthen, we stretch it out. So 
See, that gets into all those nice little deep crevices. So when you're doing big movements, you have a strong foundation. From here, we're gonna go to the back side. I want you to come down to the mat. We're gonna do a few tricep push-ups here. Hands, bring them in so they're just right inside your shoulders. You're gonna to come to your knees, wrap your elbows in. By all means, come to your toes if you're feeling pretty strong at this point. Tuck that tail, squeeze your thighs a little bit here. And then I want you to just drop your chest down. So here's my alignment. Elbows tucked to this side, nose is down, tail tucked under. Hold for a moment. So remember, we want some strength and stillness here. And then from the bottom, I want you to press yourself all the way to the top for 10. Lower down, push, nine, eight. Now, mindful, I'm gonna pull those heels to the butt. We got five more. Pull the abs up and in, tuck that towel slightly. Keep the legs squeezing together. You have three, press away. Two, last one, hold. Beautiful job. And then I want you to come down into just a nice hover. Can you lock in your elbows, tuck under, and hold this for like 10 seconds? Nine, eight, thigh squeezing. Six, five, four, Three, two, you gotta press yourself up. Can you do that? Press yourself up, find a plank. And then from that plank, you're gonna take the feet out slightly, come down to the forearms and hold. Now here's the stop. You're gonna press yourself forward, bringing the shoulders to the hands, and then press back. So I'm bringing shoulders to fist, pushing back. This is great for the triceps. Working in the shoulders here, those stabilizers, right? Those are part of that fine tuning that we need to do here. There's four, press away, three, two, last one, and then tap the knee down. Knee and switch, alternate knee drops here. Great, you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, just hold. All right, press back, tuck under. You can do this. You can hold this, push the shoulders down. Tuck slightly under for four seconds. Three, two, all the way down onto that stomach. Release. Oh, shake out your hips. We're gonna go into a little bit of low back here. So from that position, hands out, like you got a field goal here. Toes are pointing, legs are slightly open, and you can just lift that chest up. From that position, you're gonna reach the arms forward and then pull the elbows back. Reach and pull. Inhale, exhale. And every time you pull back, maybe you can lift your chest a little bit more. Let's go five and reach. Four, three, two, one. Hands by your ears, you're gonna lower down and lift up. Just a nice little movement here, lower, lift, lower, lift, get into that low back. That's a great place to keep nice and strong. You have four, three, two, hold up. Now, from this position, I want you to take your hands, reach them back, and I want the thumbs to be pointing into your hips. Lift the chest up, lift your arms up as high as they can go. And then press the thumbs in for 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, circle in, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, reverse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it, reach forward, reach the legs and arms super up, hold this, Lift, lift and lengthen and release. Sit back. Woo! Great way to strengthen the back side of your body. We need that. All right, flip it. Let's come onto our back. Roll your spine down. Arms by your side. Legs come up one at a time. I want your feet at the height of your knees. Knees right over your hips here. Back the head on the mat. Press your spine into the ground here. And then let's go for a little activation. Hands on the thighs, press, but 
don't let anything move here. So we got some kind of battle going on in the core here. Hold this. And again, this is where we can fine tune deep inside the core. I got this nice tightness going through the whole midsection of my body here. Hold on to this. Now reach the arms up. Extend your right arm back and then extend your left leg out. Flex your left leg, squeeze your glute here. Really turn on the core, hold this. And then I want you to bring that leg and your arm up and switch that left arm is back, right leg is extended, flex your foot here. Push your spine into the ground. Let's try that one more time. Right side, extend, flex your foot, squeeze your butt a little bit here. And switch that, we got left arm, right leg, back of the head on the ground. Sometimes it depends on where your ponytail is. And then bring it up here, and let's go into the 100. Wrap behind the thighs, lift the head and shoulders up, so round into your back here. Extend, heels together, toes turn out, lift up, and we're gonna pump for five. And exhale, pump for five. If you need to, bend the knees. You can even drop the head if you need to, or take a hand behind the head. But I'm looking between my thighs. I'm lifting up and into my chest. Breathing nice and smooth. Right, five pumps for that inhale, and then five pumps for that exhale. If you want challenge, right, we'll lower the legs a little bit more. But again, where's your eyes? Not on, the, not on the screen, you're looking at your thighs, right? All right, last two breaths here. And then from there, you're gonna take the legs back up to the ceiling, hands behind the head, bend the knees. We're gonna go into a double crunch. So I'm pulling in and releasing now. Exhale in, release. Hands can be behind the head. Hey, if you have a towel, right, a towel is a great tool to have. You can place it behind your neck and give you some great neck support here. Oh, we got 10 more. You can do this. Exhale. If you need to drop the feet, just move in the upper body. Really pull it if you need a little effort here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Legs are up. Hands by the hips. Start to scissor the legs here. Lightly touch the heel to the floor if you can. But again, press them back into the mat. It's going to arch a little bit, and that's okay. Just keep pressing into it. We've got four, three, two, one. Bring the knees into the shoulders, and then extend the legs out. If you want to, lift the head and shoulders out. Knees in, reach out. Exhale, inhale, four more. Press away, then zip up your thighs. Last two. And one, and little crisscrosses here, over and under, over and under, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, hands can go down and under the hips, 2, and 1, woo, all right, prop yourself up, come on to one side, let's do some inner thigh. Top leg is going to be bent, bottom leg is going to extend out. And I want you to flex your foot on your elbow if you feel like lie on down for you if you need to. But flexing the foot, I'm going to lift it more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Get up there. 3, 2, 1. With the toe for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, and I'm gonna lean back in my back pocket just that little bit. Three, two, one. Here's the challenge. All right, I'm gonna shift back and find where I can lift that hip up. I'm gonna reach for the toe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To the other side so that I don't forget what we just did. 
Are you that person in the class that you remember everything? Because I love you, right? <laughs> Extend that bottom leg. Find your posture, your good posture. Flex the foot. We're going to lift 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six. Lean in the back pocket. Four, three, two, point the toe. Lift up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. When you're the person that remembers like everything, everybody looks at you like, oh, why'd you say something? All right, here we go. Lifting the hip up, so I'm going to be. So I'm going to push into that bottom leg, reach this arm up. Think over 10 this here. Two, take the first option that we did if you need. Two, four, five, six, Shoulders back. All 
right? You guys really want that in here sometimes. Check your posture. 20 little presses here. Let's go. 10 or 20. What's 10? 10 is nothing to you guys. So bar is great to do like, you know, I don't do a lot of bar, but in the ideal world, maybe once or twice a week, maybe once a week, depending on what other things that you enjoy. Three, two, one, lift up. I need to watch my head. Warrior three. Find your balance. Oh, this is a great stabilizer, you guys. Release the shoulders. And when you're ready to come back into your lunge, settle the knee down, and then take that leg up. Oh, I want to see the leg down, dog. Press back. Open it up. And release to the ground. Shift back into your heels. What a great stretch.
got mobility, you can go all the way down onto your back here. But great to open up the hip flexors. Oh, I hope you feel amazing. Bar is really, again, like I told you, it's fine tuning. It's working on all these smaller muscles. And I know you can take bar up another notch, you know, by doing other things. But, you know, for me, I don't do bar very often. So for me, it's a very good way to fine tune and, and just take a moment. Pull the heel to butt. And I'm telling you, find things that you really do enjoy that keep you active. So if you love bar, keep doing your bar. If you love hit, do any of that stuff. As long as you're staying active and giving yourself recovery time, you will see change happen. But if you really want to change the shape of your body, I am telling you, you've got to lift weights. I don't know. Do you think three pound weights can be? I mean, for some people, I don't know. You know, with my background being a trainer and stuff, and all the knowledge I have. I see people change their shape when they do lift a little bit heavier. All right, release that for a moment. And let's take a deep big inhale, reach it up. You do what's right for your body. Pull it down to your heart center, bring it behind the head, open that chest up, push the head into the hands, round. Then one more big inhale. I am so grateful that you took time out of your day to be here with me. You have an awesome day. Oh. Until next time, you guys. Take care.